Recently, there is a controversial news in China. This self-appointed vigilante called Ironhead is going undercover and cracking down a public traded education company specialized in after-school tutoring. I said, "Two thousand, the young people, the children, can they take this class? Language class? Um, foreign language teacher? 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 Um, foreign language 在违规腐蚀，呃，文化课，然后还有通过线上教育、教费的形式，就是让小孩子在家里就是拿个学习机接受，呃，文化课补课的形式。然后这两个都违反了二零二一年的国家的双减政策。第二，二零二三年七月十一号，浙江省教育厅啊、呃、颁布的规定啊、呃，严禁一切课外形式的那个补课。我要见教育局的领导。我是怎么说？我来教育局，懂吗？现在不要看你们。没谈，我跟你谈。你有你有什么事情，你跟我找我，我们刚刚在里面了解清楚。那我把东西拿上，好吧？我把那个包，把我那个材料拿上。What gives him the right to do that? Like it was mentioned in the video, it all started two years ago from a policy called double reduction policy. It basically bans all the after-school tutoring related to school subjects. The intention of this policy is good because it aims to lighten the burden for students. For my generation, the study burden is so heavy. From Monday to Friday, you have to take seven to eight classes during the day, and at night you have to do a whole bunch of homework until ten to eleven o'clock. And on weekend, you still had to go to those after-school programs because there's just so much content to be learned. In school, teachers might only have enough time to cover subject content, but all that matters in the end is the exam grade. The after-school tutoring is kind of like a trainer that trains you for the exam. If what everyone competes on is the exam. And all the kids are going to the training. You better send your kids to train. But that would just make all the kids miserable, right? In order to stop that, the government came up with the policy. But there are still demands for the training because the final goal here is still exam grade. And what these institutes did and still do is going underground. This is a clip of journalists busting an underground institute. 一进小区正门，就看见了十多家中小学培训机构。其中很多不挂牌子，卷帘门低垂，门口装有摄像头。虽然执法人员反复敲门，但都无人回应。从一楼窗外可以看到，里面有黑板、桌椅，也有学生在补课。Now tell me if this doesn't remind you of Breaking Bad. It's like they're cooking math here, except math spells M-A-T-H. 在小区内，一位快递员介绍，像这样隐藏的补课机构非常多。其中不乏在职教师。Some teachers used to teach in school, but now they teach underground. Is one of them happen to be Walter White? 记者跟随执法人员又进入了一家培训机构，在这栋三层的民宅里，每层都有教室。当记者问有没有学生上课时，辅导班的看门人一直说没有。但上到二楼，一间教室里正在有学生补课。该培训机构负责人称，这里不是补课班，而是托管班。学生在这里上自习。然而，记者发现，每间教室都有黑板，其中一间的黑板上面还有英语板书。你这个放在家里边，这个摆着，这哪是？不是，你这三两个学生自己补习这个状态，你这不就是办学的状态？我平时那，你说你多少个屋里边？明天我就把桌子直接拿出来，所以说我就这些。The reasoning on the arrangement of desks and chairs that is getting absurd. So the police also gets to work now. There are two clips here. One is the police cracking down prostitution. The other one is cracking down the after-school tutoring. Now you tell me what's the difference? So tutors are like prostitutions now. They have to play hide and seek with the popo. For the last two years, it has been like this. It's kind of a gray area. Until recently, 
This guy brought out this controversial subject again. The supporters feel it's going to end the burden for kids forever, but others feel it's going to make things unfair. The upper class can afford private tutoring, while the middle and lower class won't have access to extra training for the exam. We often talk about the importance of setting goals. What the goal is will decide where people put their effort. If the goal here is still exam grade, then that's where people are gonna put their effort. That's kind of what I think. What is your thought? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, by the way, this guy Ironhead. After he finished cracking down the institute, he immediately went into live stream selling. But the result isn't very good. Many people think he went too far. Now their kids don't have access to tutoring. People are buying the stuff he sells and immediately return it. The manufacturer said they won't collaborate with him again.